And also developing tonight, a triple shooting in West Philly there on the 5300 block of Chancellor Street. That was around 530 tonight. And Seanette, the good news here, all the victims are stable tonight. That is true, Jason, but as you can imagine, neighbors are traumatized. Police did not say how many shots were fired, but I can tell you that evidence markers littered that entire street. Now, a block captain tells me that she was almost caught in the gunfire. People, just put down the guns, please. I wouldn't want nobody else to go through what I went through. Karima Richardson has a picture of her 20-year-old son, Ramir Jackson, painted on the front of her Southwest Philly home. Someone shot him June 20th of last year, just around the corner. Innocent kids was out here. Innocent ones. And all y'all want to do is shoot. No, we t we're tired. Richardson is brought to tears today because the trauma of gunfire was literally close to home again. Police say people were firing at each other from opposite ends of the 5300 block of Chancellor Street. You just hear all these gunshots. And as I'm parking and I'm getting out the car, you see another young man. I don't know if he was just coming down retaliating or whatever, but he's just like shooting after the car. But... It's broad daylight with families out. Andrea Johnson is the block captain and had just gotten home when it happened. To come home and to almost be caught in gunfire, it's like one of the most heart disheartening things. Police say the call came in just after 5.30 this afternoon. Upon police arrival, they located three individuals that were shot, one in the 54, one in the 54 block of Walnut Street. This husband and wife say they are looking to move their family off the block. A few seconds later, it was just a pop, pop, pop. We are like... Obviously, our kids are in the room. We're like, go upstairs in the back room, get away from it. It makes me worry. I, uh, to be honest, I've been trying to get my mother off <laughs> off the block for a few years, but she raised her kids here. She had, you know, her husband died here. You know, my father died of a heart attack. You know, this is her home, and this is our home. And again, Jason and Sheba, police say the three male victims are in stable condition. No arrests have been made, no weapon recovered, and so far, no motive. Yeah, you feel for that, uh, that man talking about his mother. That's powerful stuff in that neighborhood. Yeah. Seanette, thank you very much.